With 35 sea turtle nests, Tybee Island is having a record breaking season, but volunteers are dealing with a new problem. They say a coyote is ravaging nests. Our Mariah Congito explains. The DNR tells me the coyote has gotten into five of the island's nests, one of which was completely destroyed and eaten through. The DNR knows a coyote is responsible because they have evidence. This picture shows a coyote next to a turtle nest marked off with the yellow tape. Because they've only seen one set of tracks, the DNR figures it's acting alone. Dodd says on developed beaches like Tybee, finding a food source on the beach is usually a last resort. This year was the first time we've ever seen any uh, predation of, of uh, sea turtle nests by coyotes on Tybee. While it might be the first time it's happened on Tybee, Dodd says it is something they see every year as soon as hatching season starts. Predators locate nests and, and the uh, number of nests that are predated uh, increases. Dodd says right now there are roughly 4,000 nests along Georgia's coast. Statewide, we've lost full, only four nests to coyotes. One of which was on Tybee. The coyote on Tybee also got into four other nests, but Dodd says they weren't a total loss. A loggerhead sea turtle nest has on average about 115 eggs and a, a coyote might take 30 or 40. But coyotes are certainly not the only sea turtle nest predator this year across the state. We've lost about 120 hog. Uh, 120 nests to feral hogs. So to help stop further predation, volunteers on Tybee took down this yellow tape. Dodd says they're concerned it's helping the coyote determine where the nests are. We want to remove all that and leave one stake, maybe not um, in the same spot, so they can't actually use the stakes to locate and depredate the nests. Dodd says they put this screening over the nests instead. He says it is an effective method. The standard methods we use to to protect sea turtle nests from, from coyotes. Um, on some of the islands, they're trapped or hunted, actually physically removed um, from the beach, which we don't really have those op options on Tybee um, because of all the people on the beach at night. The DNR says coyotes are generally not a threat to humans, so people shouldn't panic. If you do happen to come across one, though, whether that's maybe out here on the beach or in your yard, the DNR says to give them a call and they will take the appropriate action. On Tybee Island, Mariah Congito, WTOC News.